All right. I think they've already got it thick, but we're not going to talk about that. Oh, they got a what? Thick. Oh. All right. Realtor Scott and I are going to mark the lakefront corners on this property. And I would rather be home. Not home, but in town. But anyway, because this uh, will get coated with ticks right at this time of year. But that's all right, because as soon as you get home, put your clothes in the washer, take a shower. All right, now this is on the Forest Service property. At some point in time, they would come out here with that fire break machine before we had our corners marked, and they didn't know where our line was, because I'd like to go around everybody's property right up against it. But they uh, would just ride that machine. It seemed like a water bug style is going everywhere out here in the woods. And uh, we're going to jump over to there's to on 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 property. Before we, no, we might jump over here because we got to walk in the thicker brush because this is going to meander away from the line. And I think that's the line right there, so let's go through. Oh! Now I got to get a hire a machine to come and re-clear this before yeah this is we can re-clear this before it gets before those bay trees get too thick oh, that's funny I actually remember that one tree broken Watch out, yeah, we gotta watch out for snakes, too. Uh, especially down at the waterfront. Damn it, I'd hate to get bit back here. Yeah. Oh, Christ. It's what? <laughs> to the left? They look the same to me. Kind of like right through here? Maybe not. Let's try and walk along this tree that's knocked the brush down here. Because this lasts about a few feet and then it opens up again. This is why I didn't want to come out here. This is why I didn't want to come out here. <laughs> Yep. Boy, that's just as thick as it can be. Yeah, it is. Let's see if we can bust through on the right here. Whoa. It went, 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 went. You all right? It twisted? Huh? I'm all right. All right. Shit, too old. Way too old. No! It's a dead end. No, let's keep going. That's what I said. I don't know how much of that you saw, but we just beat our way through a really thick bunch of subtropical jungle. And have a little bit more to go. Yeah! Now it's a question of... Huh? No. 
Yeah, uh... Damn it. Uh. All right, we're getting closer. Okay. Let's see what's up here. I don't know what the hell just happened, but I think we're back on the Forest Service property. Should have stayed on it to begin with, but at least we'll know how to get out. You all right? Now, you know, if somebody buys this property, yeah, crushes the undergrowth, and burns it, and then keeps it dressed up, it'd be super pretty out here. Already is, but you know what I mean? It'd be easier to move, move around. Whew. Keep coming. Huh? Where? Uh, I should have been. Uh, put a piece of this tape out here. We can find the exit. Okay, now we're looking for a silver post that marks the corner. There's a bunch of that you find on the shoreline. Ah, uh, oh, Scott. This is... Well, now we just have to find the corner. Christ almighty. And you have to look at every foot of the shoreline because if you don't, you'll miss it. And watch out for those cypress knees. the water okay so we we came to the leg front right at where we needed to be and I misjudged it but I don't know if you can see in the, there's a there's a two well inch and a quarter galvanized steel pipe sticking up out of the water about 12 inches yeah. in that frame and so there might be another piece of post up on the shore straight up from there but Scott's gonna have to wait out in the water and put ribbons on those trees right around that post It's funny because I know he did that on the on the north corner. He put up a high post uh, n n near it so we could find it, but I don't see the high post. There. All right. So how are we going to do that? Because we got see this is okay. I'll wait out there. No, I'll wait out there. But all I'm going to and put some uh, orange ribbon up. Or we both wait out there and just do it and then just go home and all the crying will be over. <laughs> no, hold on. Hold okay. On. I'm hold on. Pause this. I put these clips together, but I mean, I mean, that was about what I should have expected it to be, but it's like girls, you always think it's going to be easier. Uh, 
I can't see it. I'm going left a little bit. This is practically a sidewalk compared to that other part. What are you doing? Okay. I'll sit down while he does that. There's a nice place to sit up here. Straight ahead. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Wall number five. No. Come on. Okay, now, the original homesteader out here, uh, he must have been out here till about, well, about time we got the property, 1933. And uh, this might have been his homestead site. You used to be able to tell uh, There was a, there was a, one of those inch and a quarter pipes still standing when I was a child. And a little piece of wire fencing and maybe some stuff like out of a trash pit. And uh, the story was, I've said it elsewhere, that uh, the old man, the wife left. She went back across the river where she's buried in Georgetown or Wallachia, one, uh, Lula Wickfelt. And, but the I guess the old man stayed with two kids or something like that. They went back and forth, I imagine. And he got snake bit once. He said, took the kids a couple days to flag a boat down and they, he, he made it and uh, let's not get snake bit. And uh, then, uh, well, dad always looked over in Georgetown or Wallachia for his burial plot. And it should have, and it later occurred to me after looking into it further after dad was dead that you know, he wasn't dead. He traded the, he traded the land to your father and uh, moved on. He went down to, like Lakeland or somewhere. And there's some record on him, a World War I service card of some sort. Uh, uh, we should have come on... Uh, one of those fire breaks, but at least it's at least it's thinning. Yeah. Oh, wall number six. This is number. There's the fire break. But there's that's actually. The, that's a fire. That's a, this is a, this is our old entrance that we used until about 20 years ago when I logged back and we moved the entrance back off the lakefront. That's where the corner is that I'm trying to get the Forest Service to let us smooth out. And, but we and we still need to get out of here. I don't know, it's six or one, half a dozen of the other. All roads.
Yeah, I think we should have stayed on the road. That's all right. It's nice out here. <laughs> Keep coming. Yeah. Keep coming. All right, uh, we're almost there. All right, follow my voice. No. Mm. This looks like the, for some reason, it looks like the Jeep trail, the fire break. So, oh Jesus. There's somebody's tree stand. I think I remember that. No, it's been years since I've been out here. Now this, this is, we're on, we're, here's the road, we're here. The road, we're at the road here. All right. So, okay, so, there's where we parked. All right. Let me pause this. Or, let's see, Scott, there he is. Is it? Okay, I found... This one was actually harder to find. It was easier to get to the lakefront, but this corner was harder to find. This was the the high post I kept talking about was a thin the thin wall. And it rusted off, fell over. It was up there on the shore. And I don't know who would have been out here, but it was laying down right next to the corner. I guess the forest service was looking around. I can't think of anybody else that would be out here. But anyway, uh, it was, there's Scott back there. Big pine tree went over, fell right into the lake. And those make really nice lumber, but they're kind of hard to get out of here. And you gotta get them when they're still fresh. Okay, so I'm gonna tie a bunch of tape up so Mark, uh, Scott can, the surveyor's name is Mark. Scott can find this from the boat Looks like there's a big hole right there, so not gonna step into it. That's Hog Island all the way down to that point. Oops. Yeah, that other too. And, uh, and then from that point to the right, you see Drayton Island. You can't actually see, cannot actually see the other side of the river from here. You got a dog leg through those islands. Okay, there's enough, probably a nice shot into the sun for you. All right, I'm trying not to drop this phone in the water <coughs> while I mark these trees. Well, the thing to remember here is that it's by that big pine tree that's, it's just this side of that big pine tree that's laying down out there. This is the back property line looking north. We went around on the Forest Service property uh, right. and coming back on the back line but because the Forest Service road, the such as it is, line. goes goes around. This is the uh, this is where we are. Th the road that goes through our property exits onto the Forest Service property. Uh, and we, and you can, um, there's a section corner west of our northwest corner, I guess a quarter mile, out in, this, in the big slough. And, and uh, I was telling Scott a minute ago that our uh, northeast corner, the lakefront, North Lakefront Corner is a certified section corner. So anybody in the state can work off of a certified section corner and 
doing their work uh, surveying other private parcels but but if this the lines need to be set by a professional he doesn't have to go do everything that our surveyor did 10 years ago he just starts at the <coughs> our corners one of which is certified section corner and uh, and uh, can do anything he needs to do on site from there. From there. Okay. Let's see. Since I'm, since we're here, now we're back at the middle of the property, and Scott wants to actually put a flag about every hundred feet down the shoreline and uh, so it really stands out to the boaters and 747s and everybody else. Yeah, this is, you could pitch a tent out here in camp. Now I was, this is where I was talking about putting the, the big sign was on one of these points. It'd be hard, hard to you'd have to, no, you know, put it here. Here, okay. This will work because this is wider, which is great. Yeah, now this is not the deepest boating water. Yeah, uh, from the, if you drew a straight line across the points right. and went corner to corner, you're in good boating water. But, but the, we got our boat right here. We don't yeah, yeah, it, right now it is, but yeah, we're not, we're no problem. yeah, but when the water's lower, you can see that the cove needs to be cleaned out a little bit. And there was I always thought there was a million hoops to jump through, but the last guy I talked to, I think it was the Corps of Engineers or the Water Management District, he says, no, within a certain like within 25 feet of your shore, you pretty much had carte blanche to Clean, clean, clean up the bottom, but of course that has to, has to be checked into. I don't know if you can see the structures in this video, but on the ones that you can see on the shoreline are on Drayton Island. There are structures on Hog Island, but you can't see them from here. In fact, there's a real nice cabin on the so very southern point of the island, and on the other side of the island you can see the dock where they so ferry our materials. And that south is probably a little bit. Yes, yeah, beyond. It's beyond there. And then also beyond that buoy over there. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, it was 1320 due north south, so it's six. Uh, what's that? 660. 660 feet that way, and 660 feet that way.